Hey guys, welcome back to Gilligan Phantom where we turn this big school bus into a tiny house. We are about to get this big beast back on the road. It's been sitting here, more or less, for like two and a half years, and it's time to ride again. Alright guys, we are moving. This is so fun. Justin, do you feel like a bus driver? I do. Now we've got new headlights, the conversion pretty much all done. We've got off-grid solar power, but we need to do some basic bus maintenance. What we're gonna do today is a coolant flush. I was going to hire this out. I'm very intimidated by diesel engines. I tend to break things mechanically when I've worked on them in the past. But I feel like I need to learn how to do this because we're gonna be on the road in the middle of nowhere in this bus and there's only one person to solve problems and that's me. So I need to at least learn how to do fluid changes just for the sake of learning how this engine and this system works. And in preparing for this coolant flush, I've already learned a lot about how this bus works. Now, of course, I can't just dump this stuff on the ground. That would be ridiculous. It's poisonous chemicals. Five five-gallon buckets. I am expecting as much as 25 gallons to come out of this bus. So we got our coolant flowing out of the radiator, but this is not actually the lowest point. I believe it is the oil cooler, which I'm pretty sure is this. And I think that this will also drain coolant. Okay, so we're all done with the drain. I have about 11 gallons that came out of the radiator and about four gallons that came out of the engine cooler for a total of 15 gallons. So I'm not confident that I've got all the coolant out, but I also did remove three passenger heaters that could have held a significant amount of coolant. See that main trunk coming off the radiator? It's lower than the radiator, so I'm assuming that that's holding coolant. I guess that's the point of the flush. We're going to be running water through this system so that we can ensure that we've gotten all the coolant out of the hard to reach spots. So now I'm gonna fill this with water and I'm going to run it until we get above the thermostat set temperature, I'll explain that to you in a little bit. It's gonna cycle all the coolant through everything, or the water, and then we're gonna drain that, then we're probably gonna do it again, and maybe again, and maybe again, and maybe again. Oh God. This is a thermostat, and this lets the coolant into the engine block when it reaches a certain temperature, because they want the engine to warm up as quickly as possible. The right way to do this is you take off the thermostat so you don't have to spend all this time idling and having the thermostat constrict the flow. If you take this off, you can just run the bus for 10 minutes, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. But the way we're doing it, you probably have to do it for 30 minutes or longer. All right, so I did four coolant flushes. This is my first drain right here. Very green. Number two, number three, and then number four. There's still a lot of green still in there. I've got to get the coolant out of some stubborn areas where it's hiding and I've got to get it circulating because my engine temperature gauge at the front of the bus is not going over 145 which I think to me indicates that the thermostats are not opening and not letting coolant flow to the front that's hot so I don't know got some more learning to do I also removed cleaned and flushed out heater core for the front of the bus I'm gonna install it I'm gonna fill this bus back up with water I'm gonna see what I can learn today. All right, so I'm filling up for flush number five. I'm finally using warm water, which is smarter. It's gonna fill the sight glass, and shortly before that, these are gonna start bleeding off air. Hear that? One of these just started bleeding off some air. Now we're done. All right guys, look, let me show you guys what I did. So I really wanted to pull the thermostat so that I could test it to see if it's working because the thermostat gauge at the front of the bus is not reading over 145 degrees. I just thought if it was easy enough to take the thermostat out, I could test it, see what temperature it opens at. So like I unbolted everything and I can't get it past this big exhaust pipe. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I'm throwing in the towel. I do not want to be in a position of breaking something on this engine or damaging seals that I can't easily replace. The thermostat thing is just a hunch. To like break something based on a hunch seems kind of stupid. So I'm gonna try and put this back together without doing any more damage. And I am bringing this thing to a shop. I'm going to a shop anyway for a big oil change and a look over. So cancel that, bad idea. Okay, so I did put this thermostat cover back together. It went on fine. 
Hopefully I didn't damage that seal and everything is as it was before I messed with it. All right guys, this is a really, really big day for us here at Gilligan Phantom. I'm driving this bus out of here. We're gonna go get some tires. I have not had this bus on the road for two years and three months. And I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I'm very anxious about driving it. It's a big school bus. I don't have a ton of experience driving large vehicles. I drove the fire truck a bit. That's 10 feet, almost 10 feet shorter. It's a, it's a bit of a challenging vehicle to drive. And I've been worried about it, you know? But I do believe that I can do almost anything within reason. And this is absolutely within reason for me. Of course, I've done it already. I drove it back from California, which brings me to the real reason I want to talk to you right now. And that's that the last person to drive this bus out of like first gear was Andrew Lee. Andrew passed away from cancer not even eight months ago. And I miss him so much. He was really my rock during that trip back from California. I could never, ever have done this without him. I could never have brought this bus back alone. He really saved me and I really miss him and I love him and I just want you guys to know that he matters and we're all hurting and he is very important right now. He's important in this moment. I don't want to ramble too much, but Andrew Lee, we love you. Rest in peace. I'm driving this bus. <laughs> Alright guys, I made it to the tire shop. It actually went extremely well. I couldn't film because I just had too much to pay attention to. It would be irresponsible of me. Apart from a bunch of things probably breaking back there, uh, we're good. So, actually not much really happened. Gilligan Phantom counter fell down. Um, I need to secure this door a lot better than with these Velcros. Val's extremely intricate, delicate teapot, of course, got just smashed to oblivion. I knew I needed to secure these doors. I don't know why I didn't do it before I left. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Tires are all done. We got Firestones. We got 12R22.5. They were 443 each for a total after tax and labor and other fees of $3,692. I think we probably could have gone cheaper with cheaper tires, but I feel good about these tires. Let me know if you did a lot better than I did. I'm curious to know. So now I am traveling to Palmetto Diesel. It's about 10 minutes away. Gonna have them look it over, probably change fluids, and then I'll be bringing it back home, and I should be done with bus work. All right, guys, we're on our first ride in Gilligan Phantom Bus with Jay, Val, Nova, my mom, and my sister. All right, guys, we are moving. This is so fun. We are moving in a house bus right now. I gotta say, it's pretty nice. We are making a left turn. Thank you, Nova. Good job, Justin. I'm driving it, Nova. Look at that. We're going. All right, Val. How was your experience on the bus right now? It's very smooth so far, but we've only done like 15 miles an hour. All right, guys. This is crazy because we are on. This is awesome. We are moving. Faster. Back there. I'm gonna turn this bus right back around. Aww. You got this, Justin. 
We are a certified bus driver. You can't do this turn. No, but that was so cute. How do you know how to start late? Yeah. Yeah, but it was. You get to like take it wide and turn really late. 